7th grade students, and welcome to the final lesson this week for language arts. Go ahead and please get out your language arts notebooks, turn to a clean sheet, name today's date. Let's go and review our objective today. I can identify, compare, and contrast the points of view of different characters in American-born Chinese. For this lesson, what I want you to go ahead and do is I want you to read the following pages, 55 through 84, in the book American-born Chinese by Jin Lu Yang. And I want you to answer the following questions. Number one, why does the great sage most likely make all the monkeys wear shoes? And number two, examine the way that the monkey king is illustrated in, illustrated. in what way does his transformed appearance reflect his transformed identity? In these pages, we see that the monkey king, as we've talked about before, the monkey king is this great, prolific character in this story. But in these pages, we see he transforms. And what I want you to answer in this question is, how does his transformed appearance reflect his own identity? Join me next time, where we'll be delving into the later portions of American-born Chinese. This is, Mr. this is Mr. Campbell saying, keep reading, 7th graders.